I know how French I look right now. And it's okay. First day we biked 36 kilometers and we were exhausted. Second day, we biked 48 kilometers, 47 kilometers. Today, we're going to get a burger. And after that burger, we're going to bike another 50 kilometers. <laughs> Hi, this is Curly no Kyojin and welcome to Awaji Island bike trip part 2. This video is a little special because I'll be showing you days 3 and 4 of our trip and one more bonus day where we came back just to see some things we couldn't do the first time. Awaji is very well known for its onions. They're sweeter than other onions and you'll find that a lot of dishes in different restaurants will include this ingredient. Our first stop on day 3 was Awajishima Onion Kitchen. You can see fluffy bun. Nothing's going off the side. Was it worth the uphill? No, not, <laughs> nothing's worth that uphill. But it's a great burger. Next, we went to buy tickets for the Naruto Whirlpools, which is Uzumaki in Japanese. And no, not that Naruto Uzumaki, although apparently that did inspire the famous ninja's name. The Whirlpools happen between Awaji and Tokushima, so you can grab a boat from either of those places to take you closer to see them. There are certain times of day where they are bigger or more visible. The time we caught them at, they weren't as big as I thought they would be, but it was still pretty cool to see. This is so dangerous. Why am I doing this? I don't know how many more shots we can get of us riding by the coast. What are these? You never know. Why are the hills on fire? Our last stop for the day before the hotel was Izanagi Shrine. In part one, I briefly told you about Izanagi's and Izanami's roles in the Shinto creation myth. Izanagi Shrine is said to be the oldest Shinto shrine in Japan, and it's said that this is where Izanagi retired after completing all of his duties. Nighttime biker, shitty. Ride the bike in the night Found the sidewalk Cause the side of the street can be dangerous To the left there's water To the right there are cars Nighttime biker I cannot believe that we made it we finally made it to our hotel. This one was also located on a very steep uphill. I said it in part one and I'm gonna say it again. Those electric assist bikes came in clutch for uphills. They let you pick out your yukata and other things you might need like toiletries. And there was a really cool looking wall just filled with books. We have to choose our belt. Yeah. What goes with this? I'm gonna choose blue. I think I'm gonna choose purple. What the heck? Blue yeah, come on. So stylish. It's the first place I've seen to do that. Oh my god. Oh my god. You just said hello. <laughs> Outfit today. It didn't take me long to get hungry again, so we found a really nice restaurant that was just a five minute bike ride away. We did have to get the bikes back by 4 30 though, so we just decided to go for it in the rain and make stops along the road if necessary. My little babushka. Rainy biker. She rides the bike in the rain. She has a towel. Because the rain is dangerous for the hair. Rainy biker. Because she rides a bike in the rain. Really safely. Because the roads could be a slippery. We just went past our friend, big statue. Now we're going, continuing on the road. 
I found a labushka. We're here! It's at the big rock. There's the big rock, and that's where we're gonna return our bikes. If you could see back there, we see the bridge that we can always see from home. Here's my wife. That's how I feel too. We're here! We're here. bonus day so because of the rain and the time constraints we couldn't do everything we wanted to so we came back another time just for a day trip daytime biker city she rides a bike in the day our first stop was Akashikaikyo National Government Park we are here right now we need to go past the hill of wind through the tree of water through the tree of water into the palm garden Avoiding the moon terrace. The Old children's place. forest. The children's forest. That's the most dangerous place to be. Previous place. Right to the boat pier where we'll find the octopus topiary. Be careful. The umbrella balls will trap you. It has seasonal plants and flowers that you can see all year round. And it's a beautiful place to come on your own with friends or with family or, you know, with your husband or wife, I guess. Hey, that's my girl. Pokemon! It's Pikachu! What? <laughs> Moltres! I want to go there. There! After swimming past the tree of water, fighting our way out of the forest of children, tumbling through the hill of shadows, we finally found it. Octomami. Connected to Akashikaikyo National Government Park is the Yumebutai Complex. You can find a resort hotel there, gardens, restaurants, shops, and more. It was designed by Japanese architect Ando Tadao, who is known for using a lot of geometry in his work. If you love architecture, I definitely recommend including Yumebutai in your Awaji itinerary. I'm so glad we finished all these stairs. Oh my God! Turn right. Okay? Nope. Why not? Probably gonna go up that mountain right now. Let's do this. These hills are crazy. So we decided to walk up a little bit. Uphill biker. She doesn't want to stop biking. Our last stop was Hanasajiki Gardens. Hanasajiki is located on top of a hill of 235 to 298 meters in height. It was not easy, but once we got to the top and saw the beautiful flower field, I'm not even gonna lie, I still wanted to pass out. But after we got some ice cream, I started feeling a little better. I read online that the best burger place in all of Awaji was at Awaji Country Garden, so we rode our bikes there and grabbed a bite to eat. We made our way back home and this time we grabbed a ferry instead of a bus. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions or anything about Awaji. Thank you for watching.